Hey everybody, this is Robert from Black Belt Gaming. I'm just continuing my playthrough here of Divinity Original Sin. In my last video, we had this uh, big battle with the boss orc, and now it's time to loot the bodies. We've got this old metal helmet. I'm just going to start grabbing things, and then I'll start passing them out a little bit later. Fire arrows, poison arrows. Uh, let's search this corpse. Nothing on that one. Let's see if we checked the orc bodies back here. Empty, empty, nothing showing up there. Looks like there could be something here. We'll search, search the box. Oh, we got some things in the box. Um, plague grenade and an ice wall scroll. Okay. Looks like we've got some other things over here. Air wand. Potions. Orders. We'll take a look at that in a moment. A nail bomb. Uh, looks like there is a chest here. Let's see if we can... Alright, it's not... Doesn't seem to be locked. And... Oh, we stepped in some oil there, but... I guess, I guess we're okay. Let's check these... Uh, corpses. Looks clear. We'll check over here. A metal water staff. Okay. Water staff. Got another chest. Ammunition. Poison arrow. Alright, I think that's about going to clear the area. Um, I'm carrying around a bunch of stuff, <laughs> so uh, I think I was starting to put some system together, like with these arrows, um, I was going to send them to the archer, of course. The staff, I think we'll send that, since it's a, it said a water staff, so we'll just send that to Jahan, maybe he can use it. Orders, what do the orders say? By order of the All Mother, this regiment is strictly responsible for retrieving the Star Stone from Sisal's Black Cove. Bring me the stone and I'll consider allowing you <laughs> to keep yours. <laughs> All right. Uh, Avatar of Fire. Anything with fire, I'm just going to send Scarlet's way. Air Wand, we'll send that to Jahan. Ice Wall. Eh, Jahan. The Archer. Archer. Now, there's something I haven't done yet in this game. And I have not uh, used any wands yet. I'm not even sure how they work. All right, what, what kind of weapon do we have here? A cunning old push dagger of escaping. Hmm. All right. Unidentified. Let's see if we can identify it. Seems our archer is good at identifying these things. Earth resistance. Okay. Uh, Book of Fire, that's going to Scarlet. Old Metal Helmet. Alright. Well, um, let me go to Scarlet here. Uh, let's see, Scarlet. And let's go to her inventory. I had her carrying a bunch of wands. Uh, air wand, air wand, air fire wand 
Okay. Some sort of wand uh, of the doctor. What does that mean? Uh, ice shard. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like it's going to take me a few minutes just to dig through all this stuff. And I don't know if it's the most exciting thing to watch. So why don't I pause, you know, sort of cut the video off here and I'll bring you back as soon as we're ready to enter into the cave. All right, everybody, welcome back. I don't know if I'm as optimized as I possibly could be, but um, I did want make one change. For the first time in the game, I've equipped a character with uh, wands. I've got Jahan here, uh, outfitted with two wands. They are identical. Um, I believe they are air magic. Uh, Find wo fine wooden air wand, and he's uh, dual wielding these, one in each hand. And it says that it allows him to cast head vice, which I'm not sure what that is. Um, sounds like it must do some damage. Uh, number of uses three. What does that mean? Uh, after three uses, the wand is depleted, and you can't cast it anymore. Um, I'm just very unsure about that, so um, if you wouldn't mind letting me know in the comments about how that works, uh, I would appreciate it. So, Roderick here is ready. We are going to head into this cave, and I do believe we are looking for the Star Stone. All right, we've got some mice running around. Uh, Scarlet, I believe, can talk to these uh, creatures. So we've got a waypoint shrine, and that should be able to take us to uh, several different places that we've explored before. Let's check out this dead orc. An orc horn. I really don't know if that's worth picking up or not. Let's talk to the let's talk to this little uh, mouse or rat or whatever it is. We've got dead orcs lying around. Why don't I feel more relieved to see so many dead orcs? Because whatever killed them could be around any corner. We've no idea whether to expect a friend or foe. Hey, Mousy. I know what I know. Orcs leave much better crumbs than moldy skeletons. All right, so that's probably a hint here that we've got some skeletons uh, around in this area. We gave Scarlet uh, some skills with the ability to talk to animals, so that's come in useful from time to time. Another dead orc. A bone? I don't know. Pick that one up. That looked a little different than the others. Uh, looks like we've got some barrels here. Another dead orc. An old buckler. Uh, we could sell it, maybe. And anything in the barrels? Nope. Uh, explosive arrowhead. Let's um, let's give that to our archer. All right. Well, what's this up here? That's uh, it looks uh, kind of bad news. Roderick, and let's let him split from the party, so he won't drag everybody into this storm or whatever this is. Static paint. There's got to be a way to cover up the source. A static pit. Hmm. Well, um, sometimes when I've found traps, I've been able to pick up barrels and drop them on top of. 
let's uh, not pick up. Move, I think, is what we want. Move it. Is there a place? There. We got a trap trigger. Hopefully. Hey, there we go. Uh, several other barrels here. Search these. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, trap disarm toolkit. Let's take it. And I guess we'll call everybody. What's what do we got up here? Orc that seems to be uh, twitching around. Let's let's get him back with the party here. This way. Well, I didn't realize that Roderick and Scarlet were down in the hit points quite this much. Um, before I proceed, let's drop some regeneration. Looks like Scarlet needs it more than anybody else. Roderick, uh, I'm not sure how, how many hit points he's down. Looks like this cooldown is going to happen pretty quickly, so let's uh, let's let him drop one on our knight. And Scar Scarlet could use another dose. While we're waiting, let's take a look at this head vice from the wands here. Um, get your magical claws out, it said. Uh, it it's a hundred and five percent chance to set blinded. Maybe huh, maybe that's um well, it does do some damage, but I guess it does damage and blinds the target. Might be good to use against an archer or something like that. But once again, I'm still not sure of how many charges I guess this thing has from the wand. Bloody claws. Huge claws. Curse the pirate. The pirate? Okay, he um, obviously didn't make Fortune. it. Well, what was that? Parchment, parchment. Is this it? Um, that looks like what we read before. Orders. Okay, here's the parchment. By order of the All Mother's Chosen One, Grutilda. The sole task of this expedition is to retrieve the Star Stone located in Sisal's Black Cove. Any and all other objectives are meanwhile postponed and abandoned until the Star Stone is acquired and delivered to Evelyn, a favored friend. Let's see, flip page. There we go. Of the All Mother. Remember, it's better to brave a lifetime among Sicilian scum than to have failed Grutilda. All right. Uh, the name, Evelyn, that's that kind of... Oh, what's, what do we got here? Pirate Pyromancer. Pirate Pyromancer. I think it's time for a quick save. I don't know what we're getting into here. We've got another body. Looks like some poison gas up ahead. Uh, nothing on that corpse. Uh, in the upper right corner, looks like we've got some fighting going on. Mm. What to do? 
Sounds like a battle is going on. Whoa. Alright, we jumped into the middle of a fight here. Orc warriors, pirate bowmen. Uh, maybe this is the pyromancer. Ooh, look at Jahan spinning around those wands. All right, uh, let me cut this video off here, and I'll pick up the battle in the next one.